Hi guys, welcome to today's video. If you are new here, my name is Danny. I create content about all things clean beauty, conscious living, eco fashion, all of that fun stuff. So if any of that does interest you, I would absolutely love it if you would go ahead and subscribe to my channel. But today I am going to be talking about the Axiology Beauty. These are their lip to lid balmies. So I do have three of their little sets here. They do have three sets of three. Um, to choose from so there's they have three sets to choose from and each of those sets have three of their lip to lid balmies in it so I am going to be swatching those for you so one of the sets that you can get is their Malibu magic set and this set is described as salty hair in the perfect coral sun-kissed glow the colors in this set are champagne peach and clementine another set is called of the earth it's described as desert spice and warm earthy blush tones the colors in this set are caramel nude plum and cherry and then another set that you can get is called cotton candy skies and this set is described as soft rosy nudes to lighten the mood and the colors in the set are champagne sorbet and rose so i am going to go ahead and swatch all of these for you and just a little bit about these is that um, it says, heads up, this product appears tiny because we ditched the lipstick tube. No packaging. So, Balmies are the standard lipstick size at 0.12 ounces. So this product is three-in-one multi-use color for eyes, lips, and cheeks anywhere really. So it's really a very multi-use product. And the description is lip to lid balmies are planet friendly, wear anywhere crayons that hydrate like a balm, packed with oils, butters, and antioxidants such as elderberry, hemp, and plum oil to nourish, heal, and hydrate skin. Balmies are 100% zero waste, which means they're tube and cap free. They're wrapped in paper and rest in a recyclable carrying case so how to use it says to apply it directly to eyes lips and cheeks and blend in with fingers and the packaging it just says tear the recyclable packaging as needed and keep balmy in its red recyclable box boxes handmade from recycled trash by a women's cooperative in bali and something else to note is that these are synthetic fragrance free alcohol free fragrance free gluten free cruelty free soy free and vegan so let's just go ahead and get into these swatches and i do arm swatches and i also do lip swatches obviously some of these shades are definitely more so for like you would probably more so use them on the eyelids just like for example the champagne shade but I did show all the shades on the lips as well I didn't do any on the eyelids but I swatched it on the arms and the lips um, so yeah some of those shades that you see on the lips definitely would work better um, on the eyelids for like an eyeshadow but I just wanted to swatch them on the lips just so you can see another way of how they look um, but yeah so let's just go ahead and get to the swatches and then I will go ahead and share my thoughts on these
All right, so those are all of these swatches. I really like how these are zero waste makeup. That's great, honestly. This is one of the most zero waste makeup brands that I have tried so far. So these definitely are like little crayons. I think it's really actually nice that they're so small because it makes it so great for traveling and it's just, I really like that there's not that lipstick tube, even though sometimes it's nice because it like looks luxurious and everything to have a tube. Um, it is it is cool to have something that is so zero waste. Um, although I will say, I feel like because it does not come in a tube, it can get a little bit messy. Even in the box, I've noticed that it just, like the, the actual like little lipstick crayon does get a little bit messed up. It kind of like slides up into the packaging and just it kind of messes it up. It's like a crayon really and it just it, it just got bashed. I hope I'm describing that well. But because it doesn't have a lid or a cap like you would with a normal lipstick, I feel like it can get a little messy even when you are keeping it, keeping it in this packaging. So that's kind of one downside to it, but I do really like how sustainable it is because it is zero waste. Um, and I think that the size of these is also really nice. It's great for traveling and it just doesn't take up a lot of space. Um, and the actual product itself, it really kind of does feel like a crayon. Um, now, I think that it's not super moisturized um at least I don't think it is but it's also not matte so it's not gonna be super drying on the lips I prefer um, the way that I would prefer to use these is to just apply a lip balm before applying these and then it feels more moisturizing um, on their own they're kind of just like a kind of like a satin finish I mean they feel sem I don't know they kind of have a little bit of a drying feeling on the lips but not in an uncomfortable way if that makes sense um, and, but I think that the colors are really pretty. Um, some of those colors, like this one right here, Cherry, is more pigmented. Um, but I feel like all these have a good amount of pigment. They're not like extremely opaque, but I feel like they have a nice amount of pigment. I think that these are really nice for like everyday wear if you want something that's just super quick and easy to apply, just like a little lip balm type lipstick product. Um, but I also really like that this is a multi-use product, so you can use it on your eyelids, on the lips, the cheeks. Um, I definitely want to try these out for like blushes and also eyeshadows because some of those shades definitely are better for like eyeshadow shades like champagne and caramel. Those ones would be really pretty on the eyelids. I feel like those weren't really lipstick shades, um, but they're really gorgeous for like eyeshadows and all of the other shades I feel like would work so nicely on the lips and also on the cheeks. Um, but yeah, so I really like these. I think that these are really nice. Um, if you guys have tried any of these, I would love to know. Let me know which shade was your favorite. Um, if you have tried them, I'd love to know your thoughts on these. Did they work for you? Did they not? Um, what do you think about the packaging? Let me know. I would love to know. Um, but yeah, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up. And if you guys do want to see more content from me in the future, I would love it if you would go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you all for my next video. Bye, guys.